Welcome to the electric cart build episode 2. In this one we're going to add all of our accessories as well get our batteries mounted up. It's looking sick y'all, stay tuned. So this is what a battery setup will be like. Uh, when we first got them, it was in these groups of six long and two wide. But this is a little bit too wide and a little bit too short for our cart. So we rearranged them so it's three wide and four long. On the rotary cart, we had problems with not having enough weight up front. So this will definitely give us a lot more weight up in the front and we'll probably have some better handling. It's gonna look so cool. Oh yeah. So we have two clamps that are clamping each little group of six together and then we're going to have one big clamp going along the entire length. So that'll give us a lot of rigidity and make this super strong. Right now what I'm doing is unscrewing all these uh, little battery management system chip things. And then later on, I'm gonna have to see if we can use this. Um, right now, the wires kinda look a little trashed, but hopefully we can get that working and then we'll have a little battery gauge and everything. Now what we're doing is we're strapping together our two groups of six cells, and basically all it is is just these last straps. This is actually my last one. I've been working on this for the last few hours, so I'm glad to be done with it. But now what we'll do is once we're done with these, we can get it mocked up on the cart and start getting them mounted basically right beside the passenger. So it's sweet. Batteries all packed together and they fit up really nicely next to our seat. And basically they fit perfectly within the existing bars. So we'll just be able to slap the old plastics on really easy. Dang, that is going to be cool. So, yeah, we got kind of lucky with this seat. Pretty much all the mounts, I mean, with a little bending and re-welding, but they're pretty much all good. No extra fabrication required. Making our battery mounts, it was actually really simple. We just had an angle iron on the two sides and then flat stock. And then to support the bottoms, we have this thin plywood, which should be plenty strong. And then for some little vibration resistance, we got this horse mat, horse stall matting. <laughs> so yeah, it should be pretty safe and really strong and it fits really tightly. And then we just have to make two little straps from the top to hold it down and we got our mount. So we are now totally finished with our battery trays and mounts. Um, the way we're holding our batteries in is actually kind of trick. The only thing we needed is something to keep them from going up and down. So there's little threaded holes in these brackets that we used and basically right, right here we made little mounts that is going to go through and utilize the holes in the battery and the screws. We've got that side done 
We'll get this side battery in and then we can start working on mounting up all our other little components and stuff. So we finished our fuse and converter mount. It ended up being pretty nice, just, I mean, some square uh, flat stock, but that will mount up right against the back of the batteries. We'll have our power coming into the fuse, and then this will go to our contactor. So that's what we're mounting next. All right, so we have the converter and the fuse all tacked in and mounted up. And right now I'm just working on um, installing the mount for our contactor, which is basically just a big DC relay. But, um, so yeah, this will just stick off of this part right here. And we got the wires going up there. Yeah, let's get to it. That's gonna look sick. It's motor controller time. So it's just gonna get mounted behind the seat. And we have these two metal bars here, flat stock. And basically, as simple as lining up with the holes, drilling them out, and then we're gonna weld this down here where it fits. But let's drill some holes. So we're mounting up our motor controller. Um, we added some cool triangulation with some gussets here. Super cool stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack this in and pour some water on it so we don't melt this stuff. Um, and then we'll pull her off, weld it fully up, and then I'm pretty sure all of our little components are mounted up. All right, so all of our mounts are done for all of this stuff. So right now we're just gonna slap everything in and we'll get the final look at this thing. So here's our last piece. Yep, got the motor and the seat in. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly how it will be when it's driving, minus all the wires. Dang, y'all. Pretty, we're pretty proud of this. Yep. Not gonna lie, it's really? pretty cool stuff. Hope y'all like it too. So I would do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked how everything turned out. We kind of went all out on mounting up the systems and stuff because we want this stuff to be really strong. The batteries aren't going anywhere. All of these components in the back aren't going anywhere. So with that being said, stay tuned to the next episode. Now that everything's floating where it needs to be, we can wire everything up and hopefully see this motor spinning. We've actually never gotten it um, running before. So we're hoping all this stuff we bought on Craigslist actually is going to work out. We kind of built it before we checked it, but I think it's going to be all good. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. We'll see you next time.